Hello, welcome to your new office job. I, Microsoft Sam, will now take you through this exciting PowerPoint presentation about the complexities of office life. You will be assigned to a cubicle. You will be provided with one chair, one desk, one mouse, and one keyboard. Computers are not provided and must be paid out of your own pocket. Times are tough and we can't afford an expense like computers right now. Did I mention we made record profits last quarter? Your co-workers are not your friends. Please report all suspicious co-worker activity, including but not limited to any of the following, slacking off during work hours, browsing inappropriate websites, microwaving or streaming in the office microwave, failing to shower the boss in endless sprays, or using the bathroom during work hours. But what if I really have to take a huge ass diarrhea dump? Should have thought of that before coming into work. Work time is for working, not for stupid bullshit like bathroom breaks. If you encounter computer problems, figure it out yourself. We fired our entire IT department last month because they are hurting our profit margins and not because they warned us about an imminent ransomware attack and we refused to listen to them. Ignore those donuts in IT, we smart people in management require all our company employees to open all email attachments they receive, especially the ones from our most important clients, Nigerian princes. Using the printer to print printed prints of printing printed prints printing printer prints will result in the loss of printer privileges until printed printing printers can print more printed printers printing printed prints. We offer the following competitive benefits, 18 hour shifts with minimum wage, enjoying a relaxing work environment that definitely doesn't involve daily never ending threats to your employment, unpaid time off, zero dollars in medical insurance coverage, and bitterly seeing that co-workers better off than you. Sandra, how the fucking fuck goddammit do you make more money than me? Shut the fuck up Cherry, I work hard to make one cent more than you. Hey, where's the next slide? Sorry, hang on a moment. Please enjoy this incredible picture of potatoes, while I fix the problem. Fucking useless piece of fuckity fuck fucking shit ass PowerPoint presentation always fucking up right in the fucking goddamn bitch ass middle of my fuckity fuck fucking presentation you bitch ass little crap goddamn it. We believe in a healthy work life balance. Now our workers should maintain the following balance, 65% work, 25% work, and 10% work. We work hard and play by working harder. We are a fast paced but friendly work environment. Do not worry, if you struggle to meet a deadline, your replacement will be grateful for the opportunity you needlessly squandered, you absolute worthless waste of oxygen. If you're struggling with stress or anxiety, please feel free to consult the following resources, an old book about stress relief from the 1990s with half the pages missing, the motivator CD, an audio collection of compliments that you'll never receive in real life or relaxing PowerPoint presentations complete with relaxing graphics and relaxing music for relaxing relaxation. But what if my stress can be relieved through a promotion or pay raise? You're fired. PowerPoint presentations don't have to be mind-numbingly tedious. Excite your co-workers by using graphs and charts to chart out how you will graph charts. We are like a family. We are your family. You have no loving spouse or children. Obey your boss without question, like you would your parents. And just remember what bad things happened when you disappointed your parents. But ma, 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 ma. I don't want to help people read things on their computer. Microsoft Samuel, you have not only disappointed the family, you have disappointed all of Microsoft. Son, you leave me no choice. For disappointing us all, you will be punished with Windows updates. No. No child should ever have to endure the horrors of Windows update. Use charts to explain why graphs are more useful than charts. Use graphs to explain why using charts to explain why graphs are more useful than charts is more useful than using charts to graph graphs and charts. Graphs and charts and graphs and charts and... Thank you for watching this presentation. I hope you enjoy working in our office. Before we let you begin working and improving the bank account balance of the boss, allow me to offer you a generous welcome bonus. What the fuck? What the fucking fuck goddammit? Who the fuck replaced the welcome bonus with a goddamned bologna sandwich? Bologna sandwiches are the best bonuses. Yeah. Scotty you brainless son of a bitch you ruined the video that's fuckity fuck fucking and now you're gonna fucking get it I'll shove the stupid fucking bologna sandwich up your fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no.